Hello, everyone. My name is Matt Scott, and I'm the Global Community Manager for NASA's International Space Apps Challenge. And this weekend is our COVID-19 challenge, where problem solvers worldwide are, you know, really stepping up to take action against one of our world's biggest problems right now. And I thought that something that would be so useful for our space apps community is to hear from someone who's not only participated in space apps, but successfully participated in space apps and was one of our um, 2019 global winners. So right now, without further ado, I have the pleasure of talking with um, none other than Felipe from Team Massa out of our space app Sao Paulo event in Brazil. Felipe, how are you doing today? Hi, Matt. I'm very well. Um, thank you to, to, to invite me for talking all the world right now. It's a very special this edition of COVID-19. And I'm trying to participate, maybe. <laughs> and thank you very much. It was a very nice ex experience to participate in the NASA Space Apps Challenge 2019 and Bia's global winner was a dream coming true. Awesome. Thank you. And, and again, congratulations on being our global galactic impact winner last year. Just thinking about um, the work that you were doing, I know that, that Masa was addressing um, and detecting oil spills and helping um, helping people, organizations respond to limit the environmental impact, the economic impact. But it would be great if you could tell me and the Space Apps community more about the project and about your project team. Okay, uh, so uh, in Massa team, we are in five people. Né? There is Ariel, Eduardo, Joana, Ricardo, e eu, Joe, <laughs> Felipe, and in Brazil, we have been recently affected by a, a huge and mysterious oil spill that hit more than 240 beaches in 2,000 kilometers of beaches. And this disaster is featuring the greater biodiversity of South Atlantic and so socioeconomically uh, the affected regions. And we, we thought about what if we could detect um, early oil spills and offer a shorter response time to minimize the env environmental disaster and socioeconomic impact that oil spills affect in, in Brazil and around the world. And we built a, a, an MPI that can be considered by governments and third parties to detect oil spills by analy analyzing a satellite imagery using artificial intelligence with a neural network model. So we, we could detect uh, by, by these images captured by the satellites and using the, the, the narrow network is uh, we could detect early and show the, the governance to take a, a shorter response time. And the mission was to, to minimize the impact of, of this in, in the world. And uh, we, we learned that the, the ocean economy is estima estimated in between uh, Three, three, three or six trillion dollars a year, and almost forty percent of the world live in coastal uh, coastal zones, and they they were huge affected by our another kinds of of um, disasters, and this is specific is the most one that is difficult to repair uh, later. Yeah, that's really interesting to hear more about the project. And I think that the thing, the thing that I want to say is just that 
like you were addressing oil spills as an issue and there are all sorts of challenges. There are 12 challenges for our COVID-19 challenge. So people won't be addressing oil spills in this case, or they, they, might, they probably won't be addressing oil mm -hmm. spills in this case, but there is a lot that I'm sure that they could learn from you and from your experience. And so I know that a lot of people will be watching this video around the start of the hackathon. And so I would love to hear from you more about what it was like for you. What was your experience what were you feeling as you started the Space Apps Hackathon? I mean, obviously you didn't know that you would go on to win at the, at the Space Apps Sao Paulo Hackathon. You, you didn't know you would be a global winner, but like, what were your thoughts and feelings as you started out? Uh, I think the, the special part is that we tried to do a better world, to create a better world. And this is the mission uh, from, of Space Apps. And was a dream to participate in NASA Space Apps. I tried in 2018, but I, I conflicted. Uh, I, I could not uh, um, participate in, in that, that year. So was a dream for me for almost uh, one year late. <laughs> I was trying to, to participate in, in that event. And, and when we are thinking to create, innovate, uh, disrupt ideas is, is very, uh, for me, it's a passion. And in the start, uh, uh, you said, I, I was not thinking about the global award and just to help someone with one solution. It can be a few few people that my my solution could could help and i i would be very happy to help with a few people and when we try to create solutions for a global exchange uh, global change is is very very important because we we take the the social uh, the social, how can I say, the social impact to mm -hmm. create solutions that is not uh, uh, folks in private companies or private uh, interests. And, and we, we take our best, right? it, we, we, we bring our best to create solutions. And was a was a very special, uh, using NASA data to to support the solutions and it was a very special moment for me. I, I I confess I would be very happy to win the the local uh, the local hackathon, but win the global winner is more than a dream. <laughs> yeah, and one thing I'll say, and I I appreciate that a lot too, because. Anytime I've met global winners, I think they're always amazed that they won because there are so many teams. Last year, there were more than 2,000 projects that were submitted. And so to be one of the six winners, I mean, that's not something that most people are expecting. And it's something that's really great about Space Apps, to your point about social impact, is that a lot of people are joining space apps to make an impact, whether that is on the planet, whether that's on space and the work that astronauts do, or whether that's in relation to COVID-19. But one follow-up question I have, I would love to know what advice you have, because a lot of participants are wondering, um, what do I do to start the hackathon? Um, what like, how do I set my, myself up to win or to have a project that is well received? Um, and so it would be great if you could share any tips or any advice that you might have, any insights and wisdom. Okay. And um, I think the, the most important thing is to create a team. Mm -hmm. And uh, my advice is, and is that you should have uh, different skills in that team. Uh, in, in our case, we had a data scientist, 
uh, chatbot specialist. We had a business, marketing, UX. So we could, uh, could bring the best of, of different skills. And I think is the, the mission of Space Apps is everyone can create uh, an innovate idea. Uh, you don't need a specific, you don't need to, to be a developer, um, a programmer to create uh, social things with so much impact. Mm -hmm. And the, the first tip is you must find the, the team and you must organize uh, your calendar to, to develop the, the design thing the the scrum or whatever you must to 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 know that problem will have yeah is the, the answer to the problem you have but you and your team must focus on the solution for this problem and i think that what i learned learned i almost didn't know what I'm trying to work about. So I searched a lot on Google data sets and uh, articles and I read, I read, I read in the books yeah. and, and so the information is, is out there. Uh, you don't need to, to concern about, Oh, I'm not an expect expert. And Oh, yeah. I, I think I could and could not do that. And you can, you can, I could, <laughs> yeah. so you can. Yeah, I think flashing, flashing forward um, to where we are now, I mean, I know that some space app solutions, there are, there are a few that go on to become companies and people's full-time work. There are others that just inspire um, you to work on another project. So you mentioned participating in the COVID hackathon as, as one um, pro new project that you'll be working on um, after, you know, winning as a global winner. But one question I have is just what, what progress have you had with, with your team, with MASA, and, and what is your vision for what you want to achieve with your, with your project and overall just in your career and in your work? Uh, the progress we did is uh, here, here in Brazil, we, we have, we met Mark Spons, the first mm -hmm. astronaut Brazilian. And okay. was a huge, he's a minister here of the tech, tech and innovation and culture mm -hmm. and was a very special to talk with him and talk about what our solution could bring to the country and how can we 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 find a way to put this in in to work mm -hmm. and and one one thing very curious is that our link, LinkedIn uh, brings so many people talking to us, invite us to, to talk about the project, how we, we get the solution, because uh, it's not a... We, we um, how can I say, it's not our goal to, to win a lot of money with a big solution, but try to... to how can I say, uh, let another people work with our work mm -hmm. and share the work. I think the, the, the open source idea about it, uh, technology is very, very important thing to, to other co countries, other people uh, use your tech to create more and more and more. And uh, a very inter interesting thing is that I met um, there is a guy named Frank in Florida he he find me on link, LinkedIn and invited me to participate in science days Brazil Florida here in Brazil oh wow and yes so I now I'm a volunteer in in this project 
and we bring uh, uh, space, uh, STEAM, né? tech, information to kids here in Brazil. And uh, about with the COVID, the the we stopped the work, but I think that is uh, very special to participate in Science Days with the Chamber of Florida Brazil here in is it's a very cool <laughs> it's a very cool and we we could share our, our solution with the the kids the schools the universities and and it was it was very cool to to see the how space tech um, and transfer tech technology is important to create uh, create big ideas and solutions for a lot of problems here in in the world yeah, it's interesting because I know I've heard from different global winners about the impact that space apps has had on their life and in their work. And so just the last question I have for you really is what, like, what's the, the dream or the vision for you and uh, like what your career will be or what MASA will be? I would love to hear and love for you to share with the community just what you have in mind going forward uh, about the, the mass team we we try to move on with this this solution we created mm -hmm. and try to find some companies that uh, could help us to to put the 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 project uh, to work yeah and for me it was a a, a very the big global winner changed my life forever mm -hmm. is uh, the impact in in the work uh, uh, today i work all by myself i have two companies and i try to create some uh, new technology to events and uh, interactive solutions i i'm developer i'm designer i'm <laughs> i do a lot of things and was a a very uh, a very a huge step to to be as global winner because everywhere I go they call me oh the NASA guy the NASA guy is there <laughs> oh the NASA guy is coming and for for the work with companies it's a very important thing we had in our team and um, I I won't tell who but uh, he got a, a very uh, offered working in a huge company gain a lot of better than he was before not space apps and uh, I think that uh, space apps it was a um, was a mark in my life <laughs> yeah that's really great to hear and I think it also is great for the participants to hear because they could see the potential that um, winning at Space Apps has. I mean, this weekend, I'm not interviewing finalists, but I think I would imagine that many of the finalists would have similar stories to share around uh, what that has done for them and in their lives. And so uh, thank you again for sharing your perspective. And I hope that the participants who are watching could take something away from that. But do you have any final words for the community that you want to share as we end? Yes, I would like to thank you <laughs> and thank you. NASA Space Apps Challenge was a unique experience in my life. Uh, I'm trying to participate in COVID-19. Everyone should do that too. And I think that today we can create a better world. Today, yeah, we must... You, uh, bring the positive things about the epidemic the covid and and not back back and do all the normal things as we used to do but see another way to to minimize the impact the envir environmental impacts that you caused the world and i i so have to thank you matt it's a very special moment for me <laughs>